Or would you like to say anything? Uh, I would. Um, I just wanted to apologize uh, to the court. Um, to the community and also myself of my decisions that night, but I am looking forward to using this to become a better person and I am seeing that there is another life and it's sober life and I am very much looking forward to that and even the opportunity to be granted into sobriety court. Thank you. Uh, I'd just like to say that uh, at least uh, <clears throat> in this instance you've taken the initiative to admit you did something wrong where we have other people, whether they're public figures or not, who fight tooth and nail and have the lawyers get out there and say they didn't do it when in fact they did do it. I don't know why they do things like that, but I appreciate the fact that you <clears throat> excuse me, have decided to get into our sobriety court and you are going to get in there, our sobriety court. We had a team meeting, everybody said you're a good candidate for immediate geographical requirements and everything else will, will fit. So and we have room right now. Sometimes we don't have room. Thank you, Your Honor. We have a lot of requests from outside our jurisdiction to get into the sobriety court. For some reason, some courts don't do it. We've been doing it for, I think, 16 years now, maybe wow. 17 years. And it works. Not for everybody, but for most people, it works. And the, uh, <clears throat> the obligations are very time consuming. I'm sure you went over that with your probation officer, but just a, a, a small encapsulation of what it is is you do have to go to some kind of a 12-step meeting every day for 90 days. You can do it online or in person. We do need a, uh, an attendance sheet that's turned in. I'm encouraging you to get a sponsor that's part of the program. I don't control that, neither do the probation officers. You control it. Okay. But it, it's very helpful to have a sponsor. You're going to test every day with a PBT device three times a day. You'll have to drug screen twice a week. And there's no indication to me that there's any drugs problem, but that's a requirement of the sobriety court because a lot of times people will be prohibited uh, from using alcohol and they turn to something else. So this is designed to make sure there are no um, substances that can be abused, whether it's drugs or alcohol. And you're going to continue the counseling and treatment as directed by our probation department. So no alcohol use whatsoever. Uh, and no drug use, illegal drug use, and no marijuana use. And no, every, everybody says, well, you can't control that. But this is not a guaranteed program. So one of the trade-offs is uh, we tell people, you can get into our sobriety court, which we don't have to let you in uh, to if we don't want to, um, as long as you don't ingest marijuana, even though it's legal in Michigan for recreation purposes and medical purposes, for this purpose as a trade-off and part of our contract. You can't use marijuana either. <clears throat> some some courts say we can't do that, but it's my feeling that you can. Now, medical marijuana is different, but for recreational marijuana, you can't use it. <clears throat> Understood. Now we have an informal hearing during the first phase every month, and that's in court, and then a formal hearing every month throughout the program. When you graduate to phase two, the informal hearings go away, so you don't have to show up in court once uh, a month. That's if everything goes well. If there's a violation of your terms, that sets it back and delays the advancement to the next phase. There won't be. So there's a lot of time that you'll have to spend to maintain your sobriety, and it's all up to you. I can't do it for you. Looking forward but to it. It sounds to me like you've made a commitment uh, to stay sober. I have, Your Honor. And that's good for you, good for your family, and good for everybody else who uh, is out you know, on a road that might confront somebody that's intoxicated. <clears throat> this is a two-year program. And did you have any questions or comments? I do not, Your Honor. Okay. Anything else, Mr. Perkins? No, Your Honor. Thank okay. you. I'm going to go ahead and sentence as recommended. Oh, I do. Oh, by the way, go ahead. Um, after the scene, do we go to probation? Yes. Yes, okay. Yeah. That's and you're going to sign her up for everything. Uh, I heard comments in the press that you pled uh, guilty to a reduced plea to operating while impaired. It's operating while intoxicated. Correct. Correct. Not impaired. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a five hundred dollar fine, seven hundred dollars cost, or thirty days in jail. Fifty dollars state cost.